The Jews as a class are hereby expelled from the department within 24 hours from the receipt of this order. Ulysses S. Grant. It would have suggested that America was like all the other countries. Today they like you, tomorrow they may expel you. They had 24 hours to be expelled, literally, from their homes. It's quite amazing. It happened here in America. I herewith respectfully tender you my immediate and unconditional resignation, Philip Traunstein. Why was one fighting? This wasn't why Jews were in the Union Army. They had a special reason for fighting, to show anti-Semites and people who thought Jews were cowards or were disloyal that they would be loyal. Taking the risk of actually losing your life for a country that you really haven't fully acclimated. What on earth could make a human being do something like that? It is the bloodiest conflict in American history. The Civil War. Sides are drawn. Families ripped apart. Friends become bitter enemies. Those who fight in Union and Confederate armies, from rank and file soldiers to military commanders, come from different classes, cultures, and religions. Left out of most history books are the 10,000 Jewish servicemen that play critical roles on both sides of the battlefield. But old prejudices will keep many of them from equal treatment among their fellow soldiers and superiors. Despite the challenges, these Jewish fighters find comfort in their ancient beliefs. It will be a necessity as they wage war with the enemy and against their own flesh and blood. Brother against brother, friend against friend, Jew against Jew. Their story is finally told in Jewish soldiers in blue and gray.